Hey there, I'm Diana and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do a little bag chat. So I'm happy to be getting back to these handbag chats. I'm going to be sharing a couple fun purchases that I have coming up with you in an upcoming video as well too. But today we're going to chat some oldies but goodies. I actually just kind of grabbed this storage basket. I have a number of these storage baskets. They're all from Target and I keep handbags and accessories and flip-flops and all kinds of things organized in these baskets of varying sizes. So I actually just grabbed this because it had one of the items that somebody asked about. So we'll talk about that and I'll just go ahead and share some of the other little goodies that are down inside this basket as well. So somebody asked that had been around for a while, do I still have a Sarah wallet? And I do indeed. Um, and this is the longer style wallet. I used to really, really like this style. I still like the style, but I used to really love this style and use it a ton back in kind of the, I don't know, the heyday of Louis Vuitton, is that fair? I don't know. Kind of the heyday of Verne, we'll say. Um, and so I just thought that these were really pretty wallets and just really, really fun to use. And I just grabbed this because I saw that there was one Sarah wallet down in here, so that's that. It hasn't gotten a ton of use, honestly, since probably even the last videos that I made over here. Right now I'm using more of like a French purse style wallet and I've gone to using more like smaller wallets. But this material, it's just so durable. It holds up really well. I mean, this is like a 10, 15 year old wallet. I don't even know how old this is now. I'd have to go back to my videos and look. But um, it's a fairly older wallet and um, you know, it still looks really, really nice. So it's a really durable material. It's a really nice leather, and I do like the configuration of these. So if you want, like, the cards in the back, the center area for your coins, and just the different slots for receipts, or you can put bills back here. It's a really functional wallet for that. So I've just hung on to it because I really like the style. So there is that one, and I've had that one in Rouge, Faviste, and the Violet. And then let's see what other goodies we have down in here. So I have this little uh, wallet. I believe this has been discontinued for a while now. Um, this is like the card case wallet and just flips open and it's got the cards down here. This is kind of more the size wallet that I'm using these days. Again, really kind of held up really well because this stuff only gets like occasional use from me. I change out my, I would say it's fair to say I change out my wallets fairly often. Um, so this is still in pretty good condition. Um, so this is not really like a wear and tear video because I haven't like worn out anything, I guess. Um, let's see what's down inside this one. I think this one's a planner. So this one is a cutie little vernis. This one's, um, maybe been a little bit more used. I would toss this down inside my, um, different purses and everything. Again, just a cute little style and I love these planning sheets that I would get from back in the day off of eBay. I don't even know if they still make them. Um, but this is just kind of like one of those classic pieces that just kind of worth hanging on to. And then let's see what's down in here. Oh, a cute little cosmetic case. <laughs> so this is just a cute little mini pochette accessory. So that's kind of the update. I had someone ask if I still had the Sarah wallet and how it was holding up. I mean, it's not like it's gotten everyday use since you saw me in a video 10 years ago, but the material itself has held up really, really well. I mean, this wallet looks basically brand new. Um, so I'd say like the very neat, it holds up very, very well. And then as you start to use it, it starts to age a lot more. Um, and then what's this little cutie? I've got a couple little uh, accessories down there. We'll just go ahead and show you everything that's in this one particular basket. And then this one, oh, it's hot air balloon. I always like this one in the damier print on the back. So anyhow, you can see everything has held up really, really well, but it's just more because of age rather than like a ton, a ton of use. So here's what I would say. If you love, especially these older styles, like some of my favorite styles from Louis Vuitton are from 10 years ago. And so the only way you can find them now is from someplace that sells pre-loved or pre-used goods. My favorite place to shop is Fashion Files. So I'll put links to some of these items down below, but they're all gonna be from the pre-loved market. Check out Fashion File, they have great deals and it's where I really love to get items. I think that I probably don't talk about it enough, but I absolutely love getting a great deal. And so I'm always on the hunt for ways to save money and get the best deals on things. And for things like wallets, handbags, accessories, 
if you're looking for these different designer items that have been out for a little while and maybe are kind of either swinging back around or it's just something that's still been in style it came out last year but people have just traded it in for something else it's a really great way to get a good deal on a pre-used item and a lot of times I've gotten like brand new items off of there that really you could tell had not even been used so I love that as a way to save money and especially items like this if you don't have to pay full retail for it I really don't see the reason <laughs> to pay for retail for it especially these days you know back in the early days when I first started getting into handbags the prices were so wildly like you could get a speedy for like five hundred six hundred dollars the prices are so wildly different these days I think um, they've just like skyrocketed so you might as well just look on the pre-owned market where you know you're gonna get authentic goods and Fashion File is my favorite place to look for those. So I will link what I can find on Fashion File of these down below. I've also been looking at Fashion File recently for YSL bags and accessories, so I'll be sharing that with you coming up. And I also have a little handbag purchase on the way to me from another UK company that I am trying out, and I'm excited about trying it out because I've been looking at their cute bags for a little while now. So um, hopefully you're having a great day. I will be back with some more bag chats and talking about some of the different handbags and accessories that I'll be bringing with me on some upcoming summer trips. But I hope you are having a great start to your summer. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.